Hello, welcome to the first video that I'm doing actually on wild mode. Um, wild mode has not really got like, um, since the new expansion came out, wild mode obviously just, was just created. Uh, it hasn't really got like much attention or anything. But if you think about it, wild mode is actually in a sense is the best mode because you can use all the cards. So, you know, it's, it's always, it's always going to be like the lead. I mean, not at the moment because standard mode just came out, but realistically wild mode will be is the is these i mean i view it anyway as the like the premier sort of thing um because you can use all the cards and it must be better than not using all the cards right you would think anyway um but anyway this, this is what i've been using to level this has been quite effective it's similar to i suppose a standard mode thing but there's some I mean, obviously uh dr boom i'm not sure if all these legendaries like king crush and sneed are available instead i still haven't to be honest, I'm not sure exactly which ones are available. Obviously, um, you know, things like Pilot Shredder and Doctor Boom are not available in standard mode. Um, but yeah, I can't remember some of the other ones. That I can't remember. Uh, I will. I will hopefully get better at this. Uh, Belcher. I don't really recall seeing that too much in standard. Hmm. But yeah, this is obviously obviously Haunted Creep. So this is obviously a very this is a pretty wild mode um, sort of deck really. Um, but it's got some of the new cards, but obviously it's got some of the old classics. Um, and yeah, I find this to be really good. Uh, I'm using Spawn of Enzoth as well. This works really well with Infested Wolf and Call of the Wild. Um, but there's a lot of good early game against Paladin you'll find. That Wanted Creeper works very well, obviously, as well as Fiery Bat. Fiery Bat, in a sense I prefer Fiery Bat to Huge Toad, just because of the lower mana, 2-1. 2-1 with a nice death rattle is almost like it's almost like the replacement for the nerf to uh, left gnome in a way. Um, Forlorn Stalker could be amazing as well. If you've got in your hand, you know, Horned Creeper. I mean, think about what you can have in your, your hand that can be buffed by uh, Forlorn Stalker. 4-2. Four 4-2 two. Four two is often like... It's funny. I mean, that's the same as like a Cult Master and it's, it's three mana. So, and, and arguably it's just as good the effect. So... Pretty good stat line for for this card. Um, you know, four attack obviously gets you out of ping that ping range and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, I do like having King Crush in here. Um, it's the best charging minion in the game. Um, and yeah, what is how much does Leroy cost now? Six, doesn't it? No, no, no. Did it go from four? I, I think it started off at four, didn't it? And then it went to five. So it's probably only five. But still, I mean, it's not really the same sort of usage. To have to, you know, sometimes at the end of the game, you just want to, if you can just finish it with, with King Crush, it's pretty useful. Um, but of course, Call of the Wild is so powerful. And then, and big guys like Savannah Jaime. And, and the great thing about Who Ran here is that it really can, it can be used on so many stuff. Even, and Who Ran on Spawn of Enzoth uh, can be very useful. Playing Spawn of Enzoth at the right time is critical, I found, to uh, leveling. Uh, obviously you've got a Feign Death as well. I think that's probably the only uh, uh, epic in the deck, is it? Uh, Call of the Wild and Enzoth, and then there's, there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, five, is it five legendaries? I think it's five legendaries. Well, I can just look at the stars. Yeah, it's five legendaries. So five legendaries. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a new thing where I should do this, where I just count how many legendaries and how many epics, but I may as well. Five legendaries, I believe it's three epics, the two Call of the Wilds, the, um, and the Feigned Death, obviously, is an epic. So, yeah, that's, um, it's just a really cool deck to play with, I found, that, um, it gets really good. It's got, you know, Unleash the Hounds, I mean, possibly you could argue you have two in there, um, Worth worth going for a finisher, like if you've got, um, uh, yeah, if you've got like maybe like a freezing trap or you're worried about getting the 2 1 recruit out in a paladin, um, yeah, it's always Unleash Down's always good of it, that charging test the water thing, um, but yeah, otherwise, it's just very, very strong. The beginning can be very strong, you know, Animal Companion, of course, Animal Companion Kill Command's always been good. And having the Haunted Creeper there is awesome as well. 
Um, but yeah, just a really strong deck to level up in wild mode. So thanks for watching.